Friday. It is Friday. Finally. Finally, finally. Well, how have y'all been making it this weekend or this week? It's been a week for sure. <laughs> it if was. Y'all, if y'all were like me, y'all were looking forward to five o'clock today. Yes, if five o'clock is the end, that's for sure. Uh, we never can tell on Friday. It could be five o'clock. It could be seven thirty. Uh, there is a few times that it ends at you know three thirty. It really depends on where we're at in the the route at lunchtime, but. You know, usually if it carries over is something good, that means we've had a lot of good sales and stuff like that. So <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah. But well, y'all got plenty of screwdrivers up here. We do have plenty of screwdrivers. Um, we picked those up on a sale. They finally came in. So uh, I try to buy most of my inventory on sale. That way I can put it on sale when it comes in. So uh, it's a learning curve when you first get started trying to learn how much to buy when. You yeah. know. You go from buying one to two to maybe I buy 10 to 15 of these. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that is what it is as well. I know those high vis ones that I bought when you first started, when you had that little deal going with them. I like them screwdrivers. They just, they're, they're nice really, screwdrivers. You know, we've, we've talked about the screwdrivers uh, I don't know how many times. They're great screwdrivers from the grip to the way that the handles form to, to all of it. It's just really great screwdrivers. You really don't know how great they are until um, you leave the mechanic and world and you put all your stuff up and then you're just going to do a quick job so you, um, use one of the old cheap you find just this little cheap screwdriver yeah. that you've had forever Sucks. and <laughs> you start to use it and a it feels wrong in your hand and b it's trying to strip the screw and you're like you know what i'm done uh, yeah. let me go let me go get my tools back out so that's right it don't last very long but ain't no fun so one of the first things um, that we've been showing everybody this week is a test light that they was at the same sale as the screwdrivers. Uh, they're calling it the Logic Light. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, obviously, it's a test light. Um, we've talked about power probes and other stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, this one here, uh, it actually has an internal power source. So therefore, it allows you to check live and non-live 6, 12, and 24 volt DC systems. Um, mm. But I also like the way the center is. As you can see, it's uh, when it lights up, it's gonna have our logo there and everything as well. So right. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's cool that you can test live and non-live systems. So now it's, I mean, it's pretty, it, it's nowhere near what uh, Power Pro can do <clears throat> because you can actually supply to, to, to cause things to operate and stuff like that. But um, I think it's a, a really nice step into the test lot. You know, if, if I had the option of do I want one, uh, I don't know if I've got one in arm's reach or not, but do I want one that just lights up or do I want one that can do a little bit more like this one here? I think I'd go ahead and buy one like this mm -hmm. here um, just as an upgrade. Yeah. Uh, we've all had. Uh, I, I say we all have. Most of us have had the um, cordless test lights. Those are really awesome. Uh, the only reason I would go from one of those to one of these is just because it, this has got the internal power source and stuff like that. Right. Um, we did find out and showed some of our customers that the um, wireless test lights that we actually sell, um, they'll actually do the power and ground side of it, they'll light up red for power and, and green for ground. I've had guys that I've sold those to two years ago that didn't know that. So um, <laughs> it was, somebody asked me on the truck if it would do it. The only way that I knew to tell was to actually try it out. So yeah. we tried it out and we were both impressed. So now I've been showing everybody that. So that's cool. if you have a cordless test light, check it out. Uh, more than likely it'll do it too, so, but. Well, I noticed. You got a big gap back here when I walk in. That there is kind of what made this week just so, uh, so long. Uh, we That guy got on the truck about three weeks ago, and he said, I want this box. Well, obviously, I want to sell him that box. Yep. Uh, and it seemed like every corner we turned was a roadblock. I mean, it was, uh, it was just back and forth, back and forth. And we finally got everything, you know, tidied up and, and, and ready to go. 
Uh, think Wednesday morning, no, late Tuesday afternoon, we got it, everything was ready to go. So I called him and told him that I was, I was going to be bringing it. And uh, we, we stayed late, made stuff happen to get it there. So that's always, always fun. He's tickled to have it. I bet you're glad to get it off here too, aren't you? Well, um, I am, but I was also, which I said those dates wrong because uh, I guess it was Monday afternoon because she was going to have to be off Wednesday. And for all the tool guys that's never had help on their truck, they don't realize how much help somebody is mm -hmm. when it is to unload a big box like that. So Monday afternoon they told us, hey, it's all good to go. Sell it to him. Um, so I called him, well, Tuesday all day. I'm like, hey, how am I going to unload this box Wednesday by myself? You know, it's heavy. How, how am I going to do this? So we swung by Tuesday. I'm just glad I had help to get it off. <laughs> that thing was heavy. If you've never, if you've never tried to move one of the six S's around, uh, they're heavy. And then they had that top drawer added. You know, everybody was talking about the height of it. Um, that's because it had that top drawer. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's gone. It's like mine when I pushed it from where we put it together. <laughs> when I finally got it over there, I was like, whew. I was give out. It's like pushing a darn car in the shop that won't run, you know? Yeah, well, that's like uh, last Friday, um, I had a top chest and a locker sold. And it was sold on Thursday. We went and picked it up Thursday, hoping to get back and drop it off. Well, um, he wasn't there, so... Friday morning, I had to leave the house about five o'clock to go deliver it, and because y'all wouldn't have been, the, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have been able to walk in here. So I got it delivered that morning. And I was like, "Holy crap!" The last time I had to manhandle a chest and a locker is when we did yours, mm -hmm. you know. And it, uh, yours came uh, special transport because it was all at once, not right. in separate pieces. Uh, they were all separate pieces, but it's already you, assembled down the top yeah. and bottom. Whew, that's fun. Uh, we we got it unloaded though, got it dropped off, and and everything was good. But it made for a long Friday too. Oh yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't want to put them boxes together all day. I feel sorry for them people that work work at that plant that have to do that. Well, um, the top chest they actually um, have hooks, uh, eye hooks to go on the top. So I mean, if you got a lift or something like that, that's mm -hmm. not that bad. Uh, I have no chain hoist in here, so yeah. I mean, you got to put it on furniture dollies and roll it in or do whatever you got to do. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that the box plant, they, uh, the, whew, that would be hard to do some of that stuff for sure. Uh, yeah. Because which, them lockers was a beast too, you know. Well, and you got to be careful because you can't just throw them around. You don't, right. you, especially, we know the product um, has a pretty price tag, so nobody wants to damage product That's with right. that price tag so it no is what it doubt. is so but well you ain't had no bites on the american flag box or the paint box we've had a we've had a lot of likes on it um or sorry not a paint box it's matco magenta it is a magenta box, box. yeah um that's kind of an inside joke there but uh I don't really know the difference between magenta and pink, but apparently that's a big deal. Everybody else thought it was pink too. Uh, yeah. It depends on what size crayon box you had as a kid, what color you call it. I must have had the small one because uh, I didn't really know the difference. But there is a there's a lot of there's a lot of questions about is it actually magenta or is it pink? And you ask some people, magenta is a pink, so there you go. I don't know. Um, I like the box, so I bought one. But, I do too. I think it's cool. Uh, we've had a lot of a lot of people say that if they didn't already have one of the carts, that they would have that one. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't I don't figure it's going to last just too much longer. Right. Um, but you know, you go through these um, sprees where everybody wants to buy an impact, everybody wants to buy a box, everybody wants to buy a cart. So um, it's all of a circle. So as soon as we get back into that, we'll be you know, I figure that'll last maybe a week or two, and it'll, it'll be gone. So true. Right now, we're just showing them all the other good deals that we got that we we've had come in. I mean, I didn't know that these screwdrivers were going to sell, so I bought some of the other style screwdrivers, the older style here, that had went on sale. Uh, 
So I've got actually a sale on two different st style screwdrivers. So as you can imagine, I'm pushing screwdrivers a lot this week. Right. But also we're super loaded up on uh, wrenches, whether it be ratcheting, non-ratcheting, we've got every wrench that you might need. Um, so wrenches, screwdrivers, sockets, uh, anything blue that we get our hands on. We do have the brew pie bars. Um, they showed us that they're coming out with the blue picks. So we should have a uh, full line of blue just before we know it for sure. So. Well, that's good. All right, well, I guess we're gonna get back in here and get to work. It's been one of them weeks already. And I'm ready for it to be done. Over with. You got to start Friday before you can end it, right? And it's been an awful week in that shop this week. Like <laughs> you have to walk in there and look at what's in there. So, all right, guys. Like always, thank y'all for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.